Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform a visual analysis or do the compare and contrast method. Both are what you're going to do in an art history course. You'll probably start with a visual analysis, usually which is um, to an analyze one painting or one art piece. Compare and contrast, you need two or more um, images to compare. And so in this example, I have a Mary Cassette painting of a young mother sewing. And I have a Judy Chicago uh, pressing himself against her. And both of these um, art pieces um, depict a parent um, with some type of bonding with their child, either happy or sad. And so with a visual analysis or with compare and contrast, you're going to look for the visual elements. So what's the color, what the tone is, composition. So with America sets, we see this happy vibe going about. The mother is focused on her sewing and the child is staring at us, the audience. In contrast, G Chicago, we get this, um, you know, almost black and white, uh, uh, image and we see a parent. We don't know the gender of the man, of the a child or parent. And it's a little bit more brutal, although a little bit more honest in this depiction. And so usually when you um, conduct or, or uh, start writing your art history paper, you're going to look for the visual components. And you're going to see if there's any art statement, if it's contemporary art, we're luckier in our field because we have more art statements. And then in the compare and contrast, you're going to see either what your chosen art piece represents today compared to another contemporary art piece or maybe an earlier period like modernism. Okay, so um, make an outline first of the visual elements because then it becomes easier to compare and contrast and to start writing your essay. Let me just show you two helpful um, uh, websites for writing your art history paper. I like the University of North Carolina um, website because it has a really good, um, you know, it gives you really good concise information on how to write a visual analysis. And right here you can do an outline like this. So pay attention to the composition, the color. It's basically what you're observing, which you can do before actually uh, search for any scholarship. And the visual analysis, um, it's mostly about your observation, what you're um, seeing in your chosen art piece. And then later on, maybe when you're comparing and contrasting two pieces, you can do more of the scholarship. But for now, you're supposed to do the observation. And then you can go to the Purdue website and you can see um, how to compare and contrast and also examples.